solve one problem for unidirectional steady state and without internal heat energy generation for a slab of varying cross sectional area we will read what is the given question the diagram shows the conical section fabricated from pure aluminum it is of circular cross section having diameter d is equal to 0.5 under root x the small end is located at x1 is equal to 25 mm and large end at x2 is equal to 125 mm the end temperatures are t1 600 kelvin and t2 400 kelvin while the lateral surface is well insulated k of aluminum is equal to 237 watt per meter kelvin derive an expression for the temperature distribution assuming one dimensional heat flow calculate the flow rate of heat as per the given question here is the diagram of conical section which is having circular cross section now the distance of small n is given that is 25 mm from this initial line and the distance for this large n is also given from this initial line that is 125 mm now we have to find out the temperature distribution equation let us understand what is this temperature distribution equation that is we have to find out the temperature at any distance x from this initial end for this given diagram now we will construct here that is the distance x from this initial line i will show here is any distance x and the temperature at this any distance x is nothing but tx so we have to find out the temperature tx at any distance x and we have to develop one particular formula so how to find out that formula so for that here the limits are given that is here the small end we will give here the suffix 1 and this large end we will give here the suffix 2 now what are the boundary conditions so boundary conditions are for this small end 25 mm distance is there at the same time temperature is 600 kelvin in the same way for this large end that is for suffix 2 125 mm distance and the temperature is 400 kelvin now here is the unidirectional steady state conduction process is taking place and the heat is flowing along the direction of x so we will show here that is here is the direction of x so we will apply the fourier's equation so what is the fourier's equation that is q by a is equal to minus k dt by dx so there are two variables that is the distance x and temperature so dt by dx that is these are the variables now we will reconstruct this formula we will uh, transfer this dx to the left hand side so q by a dx is equal to minus k dt so here is area a now if we observe the given question here diameter d is given which is equal to 0.5 under root x so this is the formula for diameter given so here is variable x so how to find out the area so circular cross section is given so for this circular cross section what is the formula for area that is pi by 4 d square so we have to put d in terms of x that is pi by 4 0.5 under root of x bracket square which is equal to 0.196 x so we can say that area is equal to 0.196 x now if we observe this formula q is not the function of x so we have to take this q outside then area is the function of x because a is in the form of x which is variable so when we take the integration then we have to take a dx because area is the function of x then k is not the function of t so this k that is the thermal conductivity and it is uh, related to material so this is not the function of t so we have to take this outside 
Now we will apply the boundary conditions. So what are the boundary conditions here? Suffix 1 and suffix 2 are the boundary conditions. So when x is equal to x1 because this distance at uh, this uh, small end we will say x1 then t is equal to t1. So this is the first boundary condition. When x is equal to x2 then t is equal to t2. So this is the second boundary condition. So when we take the integration on both sides for these two variables we have to apply these boundary conditions because this particular diagram or particular conical section is there for which we are applying the limits. So here q integration of dx by a that is 0.196x and limit is from x1 to x2 which is equal to minus k integration of t1 to t2 dt. Now we will solve this. So here q as it is now uh, 1 upon x this is the form of one of integration of 1 upon x. So whenever there is 1 upon x then we have to take the ln and per that per ln x. So for this uh, 1 upon x we will write ln x and we will give limits x1 to x2. But this x is having coefficient 0 0.196 and which is constant. So we have to take outside the bracket. So here q divided because this is in denominator so we will take q divided by 0 0.196 ln x and x1 to x2. Now in the same way minus k here is t1 to t2 dt. So integration of dt that is nothing but t. So here t, t1 to t2. Now we will move for the next step that is ln x and limit is x1 to x2. So upper limit minus lower limit. So q divided by 0 0.196 as it is ln x2 minus ln x1 which is equal to minus k for this upper limit minus lower limit that is t2 minus t1. Now we will simplify this. So here ln x2 minus ln x1 we will simplify here as a ln x2 by x1 and minus sign we will remove. So if we multiply this minus sign inside the bracket then here k t1 minus t2. Now we will take here q at one side and we will transfer all the terms to the other side. So q is equal to 0 0.196 k t1 minus t2 t divided by ln x2 by x1. So this is the formula for q that is the heat flow in terms of t1, t2 and x1, x2 and we will give here the equation number 1. So to find out the temperature distribution equation we will uh, take here or we will replace the second term that is t2 and x2. So here are two variables that is temperature t2 and distance x2. So these two variables we will replace with this unknown term that is distance x and temperature tx. So for this temperature distribution equation we will put x2 is equal to x and t2 is equal to tx. So what is the new formula q is equal to 0.196k t minus tx and divided by ln x by x1. So this is the second equation. Now if we compare these two equations then on the left hand side here is q and this q is not dependent on x that is q is not the function of x and x is variable. So we can say that uh, left hand side is equal because here this is the case of unidirectional steady state conduction process. So here uh, left hand side is equal so we can equate these two right hand sides. So we will take this right hand side 0.196k t1 minus t2 divided by ln x2 by x1 which is equal to 0.196k t1 minus tx ln x by x1. So here is t1. So when we equate this there are constants that is 0 0.196, 0 0.196 k, k. So these are getting cancelled. So t1 minus tx is there. So we will take here on one side t1 minus tx and we will transfer this ln x by x1 to the other side. So which is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by ln x2 by x1 into ln x by x1. Now what is the meaning of temperature distribution equation? That is the equation in terms of Tx and this x. So here only two terms are unknown. All the other terms are known. So how? So this T1 is known. So T1 is 600. So I, I will write here therefore 600 minus Tx is equal to 600 minus 400. 
divided by ln x2 by x1 so x2 is 125 but it is in millimeter so we have to convert it into meter so 125 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 25 into 10 raised to minus 3 bracket complete multiplied by ln x by x1 so this x it will remain as it is and x1 is 25 into 10 raised to minus 3 if we observe this equation then ln term in denominator is there and here is 125 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 25 into 10 raised to minus 3. So this 10 raised to minus 3, 10 raised to minus 3 is getting cancelled. So one way to calculate ln term that is ln is directly given in the calculator. So we will keep here ln and in the bracket 125 divided by 25 bracket complete so here is 1.609 is the answer so in this way we have to calculate this ln term now what about this second ln term so second ln term is there ln x divided by 25 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this x is unknown so again we will simplify this that is ln x minus ln 25 into 10 raised to minus 3 so here is the square bracket because this whole term is we have to multiply with this answer. So here is 600 minus 400 that is 200 divided by 1.609 and in the square bracket ln x minus ln 25 into 10 raised to minus 3. So again we have to take ln 25 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 0 .00, 0 0.025. So if we take ln 0 0.025 then we will get the answer minus 3.68. So we have to take here as a minus 3.68. Now this Tx we will keep on one side and we will transfer this 600 to the other side. So if we observe here this minus Tx. So we will transfer this Tx to the right hand side and this whole term to the left hand side. So this here is the positive sign. So we will get here minus sign. So 600 minus what is the answer for this? That is 124.3 and in the bracket ln x plus 3.68. Now how to solve? So 124.3 we have to multiply with this. So 124.3 ln x plus 124.3 multiplied by 3.68. That is we have to calculate this and we will solve this. So Tx is equal to 141.729 minus 124.3 ln x. So this is the temperature distribution equation because here is the two variables that is Tx and this x. So from this formula or for, from this equation we can find out the temperature at any distance x for this given diagram. Now what is the second question? So we have to find out the rate of heat flow for this given lim limits. So there is the equation 1 that is for this Q in terms of T1, T2 and X1, X2. So here is the formula. So T1 is known, T2 is known, X2 and X1 is also known. K is also given. So we will, when we put all the values then we will get the answer Q is equal to 2017.38 watt. 